Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Recording audio can be fun. Of course, it's not as much fun as recording video. At least, that's what I think. But there may be a time where you need to do a bit of audio recording. Uh, maybe you're doing your own podcast. Maybe you're editing some audio. Maybe you've got a band. Maybe it's just you who is the only person in your one-man or one-woman band, and you need to edit audio. Now, if I were to say, hey, do you know of an open source solution that can help me edit audio? I can pretty much guarantee that most of you would say, hey, use Audacity. The Audacity to make that recommendation. Everybody seems to recommend Audacity. I've, I've never really liked it. Yes, I know it's open source and everything, and you know it's still kind of under development, but it just looks, eh, okay. Um, but everybody's got their favorite audio editor, and I'm not, you know, slamming Audacity, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, but I know that there are plenty of other options out there, potentially even better options if you want to do a little bit more than just audio editing. And uh, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, one of you guys out there uh, from uh, the community at geeks.perillo.com and live.perillo.com recommended Koblo, or Koblo, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. I don't think I can download a, an MP3 with the uh, correct way of saying it, but it's K-O-B-L-O, -O. Koblo, Koblo. So you go there and jump right in. You don't even have to register if you don't want to, and you can download an audio editing tool for either Mac OS X or Windows, and if you happen to be using Linux, it's okay because the whole thing is open source, and they say, hey, if you use Linux, then you can compile your own. So uh, good luck with that if you happen to be on Linux. So once you uh, go uh, and download the utility, well, I've got it installed right here. It didn't really take anything. Uh, you can start mixing audio, various tracks. Uh, you've got a, uh, an auxiliary uh, section, so you can start tweaking uh, independent channels if you want. Uh, there's the mixer, and then down here the studio. That's what they call the software, the Koblo or Koblo Studio. Now, what makes this different from a regular old audio editor, audio studio software suite, is that they cross your compilations over with the community. So if you jump right in, it says, Cablo is a music community that helps you make music and promote your songs, band, and label. Did you catch that? So as soon as you create something with this software, they want you to share it with the rest of the community. So you're not just, you know, dropped off and you left your own devices, you know, if they're audio devices, but I mean, you know, literally, you know, you, you're not on your own. The whole thing is centered around your creations in relation to the rest of the community at Cablo.com. Again, K-O-B-L-O. -O. Now you may uh, be wondering, well, it can't be good if it's free. Well, it's open source. And if you want, you could also download a, a variety of plugins now. This is where it's not exactly a catch, but the studio software, the basic functionality is free. There are plenty of plugins, and that's kind of where the community makes money. Uh, they're available for I mean, pretty small fees, I mean, comparatively speaking. I don't know if you've ever looked at audio plugins, but they can be kind of expensive. But I'm looking down the range of prices, right around 20 bucks. Uh, there's a key to sound essential compressor, dynamic equalizer, uh, looks like a, a mini synthesizer with a great big sound, precision equalizer, vintage equalizer. They've got a variety of plugins and extensions for you to use, a vibrant community, the software, a forum if you want to jump in and you need help, say if you wanted to get started mixing your own music, well, you know, maybe this is going to do it for you. Uh, I just thought I'd throw the recommendation out there just because if I hear one other person recommend Audacity is the only open source audio editing solution. I think my head is going to explode and I do hope that someone happens to record that because it's probably going to sound like a, a, a pumpkin uh, getting squished like with a sledgehammer, my head exploding, like that kind of, but I don't know. I, I, my head's only exploded once, no one was around for it, thank goodness insurance covered it. Boy, I was... That was that was almost uh, that was almost bad. My email address is chris at perilla.com. Maybe you have other audio editing recommendations to make. Uh, hopefully they would be a cross-platform, and hopefully, if not that.
they would be affordable solutions for people like you and me, potentially, who are hobbyists. We like playing around with a lot of stuff, and certainly we're addicted to software and this internet experience thing. That's why we set up our own community at geeks.perillo.com. You're more than welcome to join us there. Over 8,000 geeks today. Well, I think, what is it, 8,200, 8,300, something like that? It's crazy. And, uh, uh, people are posting in the forums over there. Yeah, you can set up your own blog, upload photos, audio, uh, videos. You can embed your own YouTube videos. Upload your podcasts. There you go. There, there, there's, a, there's a crossover for you. Upload any kind of audio that you've created. I'd be interested in taking a listen. Uh, certainly, I'm sure other people in the community would like to listen. I mean, not just the community at Cablo.com if you use their software, even if you don't, uh, but specifically at geeks.perillo.com. Then, if you want to join us in the chat room, you're more than welcome to. We're typically talking tech, and I've got this video stream going, like, most of the time. I mean, sometimes it goes down. It's a rare occasion when it does go down, but even if I'm not here, even if nothing's going on in this general vicinity of the video area, something is usually going on down there in the chat room because I've sewn the chat room experience right inside the video so you can be a part of the live broadcast. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.